Tang creates a painting on a rectangular canvas with a width uh, that is four inches longer than the height, as shown in the diagram below. Kang Kong ain't got nothing on me. It's a movie, look it up. Write a polynomial expression in simplified form that represents the area of the canvas. Well, an area of a rectangle is going to be length times width. So in this case, you're going to do h times h plus 4. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you do first. Uh, h times h is h squared. h times 4 is 4h. So the polynomial expression in simplified form that represents the area of the canvas is going to be h squared plus 4h. Okay, that's part A. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Don't go too crazy over it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's go back and make sure that I have um, the picture in my head. Okay, so I have h plus 4 and h. Okay, h plus 4, a perfect rectangle, and h. Kang adds a 3-inch wide frame around all sides of his canvas. It's going to be a huge frame, especially in comparison. But what that does is that extends this guy out 3 inches, that out three inches, which makes this whole uh, width h plus 3 plus 3, which is h plus 10. Okay. And along with that, you have h go 3 that way, go 3 that way, h plus 6. Write a polynomial expression in simplified form that represents the total area of the canvas and the frame. So that's going to be this whole thing, h plus 6 times h plus 10. So that's going to be FOIL, h plus 6 times h plus 10. Okay, first, which is h times h, h squared. Outer, which is h times 10, 10h. Inner, which is 6 times h, 6h. Last, which is 6 times 10. 60. Combine the like terms in the middle, and you have h squared plus 16h plus 60. So ding, ding, ding. Angels are getting their wings. So you have that. That's my guy. That's my answer. Simplified form. It's a foil problem. Bada bing. Last but not least, Kang is unhappy with his three-inch wide frame. Kang! So he decides to put a frame with a different width around this canvas. The total area of the canvas and the new frame is now given by a brand new polynomial. So let's take a look at the old one. It was h and h plus 4. All right, so this is the old one. h, h plus 4. Now I have a simplified form of h squared plus 8h plus 12. h represents the height of the canvas, okay, like it always has. Determine the width of the new frame. Uh, show all your work and explain why you did each step. Or expl yeah, and explain why you did each step. Well, step number one, I'm going to factor, okay. I'm going to factor. This becomes h. So I need to come up with two numbers that uh, add up to 8, multiply out to 12, and that gives me 6 and 2. Okay. Uh, if I compare this, so that means, that means, okay, this means I have this picture now. Okay, where common sense tells me that this is h plus 2 right here, and this is h plus 6. So if I add 2 inches total, add 2 inches total, then the new width is going to be 1. So my answer is 1 inch, because if I add 2 inches total, and 2 inches total, 1 inch is going to be the length of each I guess, side of the frame. So that's what I'm supposed to do here. And I explained it probably a little sloppy here. Maybe I'd want to explain it better on paper. But there you have it. There's a constructed response problem about Kang.